Bluehost and HostGator are two of the most recommended hosting companies in the WordPress space, and it's pretty clear why. They are both affordable and offer basic hosting for those who are just getting started with their website. But are they actually good? Is the low price worth the perceived lower value? When is it appropriate to use either of these hosts? And who should you really use? We'll answer all of that and more in this video. But first, let's look at a few things. Pricing, features, performance, and reputation. On pricing and features, both Bluehost and HostGator are pretty comparable. Using these exclusive deals for winning WP viewers only, you can get either one at less than $3 a month if you sign up for 36 months up front. And three years of hosting for about $100 is a killer deal. We may get a small commission if you do use our links, but that doesn't affect the price that you pay. And it enables us to keep making content like this. With both, you get one website, storage, unmetered or unrestricted bandwidth, and free SSL. But there are two big areas where Bluehost wins out. They include your domain with the plan, whereas with HostGator, you'll need to pay an extra $15 per year for the domain. And two, Bluehost includes backups on all plans. This alone makes Bluehost the winner for me. If we look at performance for both hosts, our own testing on winningwp.com found that while both hosts enjoyed 99.9% .9 uptime, HostGator outperformed Bluehost in three key areas. One, loading WordPress and a lightweight theme. Two, loading WordPress and a multi-purpose feature-rich theme. And three, load impact testing as multiple people hit your website at the same time. If performance is of the utmost importance to you, between the two, HostGator is the clear winner. Now let's look at reputation. So all that said, if we look at WordPress.org's own recommendations, only one of these hosts is there, and that's Bluehost. This recommendation, along with Bluehost being much more active in the WordPress community, shows a dedication to both the software and the people that we don't see with HostGator. But the truth is, if you ask 10 people for a hosting recommendation, you'll get 10 different answers. Everyone has their favorite, and it's probably the one they use. The best thing you can do is think about what's most important to you. If cost savings is the most important thing, Bluehost just edges out HostGator because they include a free domain for the first year. Similarly, if you think backups should always be included, Bluehost is the one you should go with. If you believe in best performance at the lowest price, HostGator very clearly wins over Bluehost. And finally, if you want someone visible in the WordPress community and recommended by WordPress.org, once again, Bluehost wins. So what would I do? Well, truth be told, being well into my career as a web developer and using both of these, I generally don't recommend either. For close to the same introductory price, SiteGround delivers fantastic performance, an excellent feature set, and is highly regarded in the WordPress community. That said, I might still recommend Bluehost or HostGator if you're on a shoestring budget and cost is the most important thing to you. You can always change hosting later. A classroom setting is also great for Bluehost and HostGator. Cheap hosting for students to learn is a great use case. Hosting is the linchpin of a website. It can make or break the website, so finding what's best for you and your business is important. While Bluehost and HostGator offer the most affordable options in the space, you'll need to weigh that against your ultimate goals, what you can afford, and what features are most important to you. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more great content.